welcome to my Pick a Card channel, The Tarot Cottage. My name is Amy. I'm here with a Pick a Card reading for you. Please pull up a chair and get cozy because we're going to have a little chat today and we're all friends when we gather around my table. For today's Pick a Card topic, we're looking at a person on your mind and what do they wish would happen between you? So we do have three piles to choose from today. Pile number one with the Queen of Cups and the Yellow Flower. Pile number two with the Page of Swords and the Purple Flower. And Pile number three with the queen of pentacles and the pink flower. So whichever pile or piles are calling out to you, there may be messages waiting today from spirit and my timestamps are listed below. I want to take a moment to welcome back my beautiful returning subscribers. Thank you guys so much for being here and for all of your kind comments. Thank you to everybody who has entered for your chance to win a free reading. I will be drawing a new name, so please be sure to drop your co comments below. Hit your notification bell, your like button. It helps me to bring you guys more content. If you are new to the channel, we would love to have you join our family by subscribing to the channel as well and dropping your comment below because I would love to to read for you. You can also check out my link below for Etsy for a personal reading if you feel called to and I do update that shop daily so keep checking back. If you go there and the shop is empty it just means that I've sold out for the day but I do re list in that shop every day so please be sure to check back. So today's topic again is all about the person on your mind and what do they wish would happen between the two of you. Pile one, pile two, pile number three. I'm going to jump right into pile number one. Hello, pile number one. You are drawn to the yellow flower. Whoops. You are also drawn to this beautiful queen of cups, and this is your reading. What does the person on your mind want or wish would happen between the two of you? You could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Perhaps they are as well. And there's a feeling about suppressed love here. Um, you can see that this person is up on top on the beach, almost like combing through the beach, like longing in a mournful sort of way. And then this beautiful woman is below the surface of the water. So there's this feeling about suppressing my feelings because I'm afraid of my expectations not being matched or reached in some way too. They're also highlighting like the little blue fish, the little blue angel fish, and they're highlighting like that Finding Nemo, Finding Dory, where she's very forgetful. So it's almost like somebody has forgotten to tell you something. It's like something that just slipped my mind. I forgot to tell you about how I felt. Um, I do get a sense of like a long-standing feeling, a long-standing connection here too, and a lot of fear. So let's take a look and see what does pile number one's person wish would happen here. I just heard long walks on the beach. <laughs> we have the hanged man. They wish would happen with pile number one please the emperor the lovers three major arcana already out of the deck for you pile one we have the six of pentacles i'm going to put it in the upright it's sort of coming in sideways but we have the Seven of Swords. This person does sort of feel like they have given you signs or symbols. It's like I've made it obvious or I feel like I've made it obvious. Maybe they haven't made it as obvious to you as you as you think they should have or could have. But they're, it's almost like they're waiting for you to recognize the signs and symbols. We have the Temperance and we also have that Five of Pentacles. I'm going to clarify as I go forward here. Now, in some ways, the Temperance can be a very physical card. It does speak about alchemization, bringing things together, mixing together. So, and we can't deny that there is a physicality to this person's emotions towards you. Even the lovers, it's a card of deep connection, but it's like, I want to rise above where we're at in our life. I want to rise above and I want to explore this connection. There's a physical undertone to their desires. To be fair, it almost feels like what they wish would happen is that they would move into a cycle with you. Um, they There's almost like a feeling of wishing I could possess you in some way. Like I wish you were mine. You have the Knight of Cups. We have the Six of Pentacles supporting the Six of Pentacles. 
they do feel vulnerable about bringing forward these desires and these wishes. They're really afraid to bring it to the surface of things. This could be a friendship at this time. This could be a work connection for some watching as well. And what they really wish would happen, if I was honest, is that they wish that you would speak to them about your feelings or they wish that you would communicate how you feel so that they would feel more confident in taking a stand here and being vulnerable as well. It's like they wish that there was a space of vulnerability. We have the moon, Scorpio energy, back of deck, queen of swords, wheel of fortune. Yeah, that's what they wish. They wish that the divine feminine, so we're dealing with divine feminine, divine masculine energy, but it has nothing to do with gender. It has everything to do with energy, but they want the divine feminine in this case to be the leader in communication here. They want to know how you're feeling. It's almost like they think that you are the one that forgot to express yourself. Now, they may look at you like you're this queen of swords where you are kind of leading the communication. You're confident. You're taking charge. There's leadership qualities about you, and that may be very true. But I feel like below the surface of things, below that persona, is a very fragile heart. And so there's a fear perhaps for you to express yourself in that way too. I just feel a really strong authority over to the Queen of Swords too, like even in like um, a position at work or maybe even in a teaching position. There's just this feeling of your voice having an influence over people, your voice having an influence over this person, but also other people as well. And in a perfect world, this person would be able to reveal the depths of how they feel. That's what they wish would happen. But in a more perfect world, you would be the one to communicate that first so that they wouldn't have to throw themselves upon that saber. I feel like they are waiting for change to happen in this connection. They're waiting for change to happen, maybe even the dynamics of what they've invested in in their lives. And they're going to be waiting until they're the ones that take the action. It's like they're waiting for the world to, to change. It's like I'm waiting for the perfect momentum, the perfect moment to launch. I'm waiting for the universe to align for us so that I can leap unafraid of all of the consequences. But unfortunately, they're going to be waiting for that perfect moment. They're the ones who have to push themselves through unsettling situations in order to reach their own empowerment. But that's why the, in a perfect world, what they wish would happen is that they don't have to wait for all of that alignment, that you would take charge here. Because for them and their perspective, now is not the time to be honest. But the truth is, Spirit says they're just afraid to face the unknown and be honest with you and honest with themselves, potentially maybe even honest with other people if that is a part of their practical realm or your practical realm. So please take that as it resonates to your situation. That message will not be for everyone. Because in a perfect world, what would happen between the two of you is right here in the center of your reading. It's connection, it's deep physical connection, but it's also wrapped up in emotion with the Knight of Cups. It's like knight in shining armor. They want to be that for you in a relationship. Unfortunately, they sometimes feel more like this Four of Pentacles than they do like the Knight in Shining Armor, where they have this concern for their own physical safety, concern for their own heart space, concern about change. That's a weakness in them. And so I feel like this person has only shown you the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the true depths of their feelings. I feel like a lot has been suppressed. It's almost like we forgot to tell each other how we were feeling. This doesn't feel like you're in separation either. It feels like you do see this person. But it's like they're in a perfect world. What they wish would happen is that you would be the force that turns that wheel in their favor. That you would bring in information that they need. Now, I don't even feel like the information that could come forward, the clarity between the two of you could solve all the practical obstacles in place here. But that's secondary to what they want, because in this moment, what they want is for you to know that they want you. <laughs> what they want is to know if you want them too. What do they want, please? What do they wish would happen in this connection? And I just keep hearing like that song, Home Fire is Burning, and they keep focusing me here on this eclipse of the sun of like burnout. It says here, forces working against you with the axe. And I do think, again, the forces working against us could be the emperor here where we're getting in our own way because of our own vulnerability. The axe can also reference trees of life. So investments that we've made in our life, practical investments, whether it be home, whether it be the work realm, they want to step into a new experience with you, even if it feels a little bit vulnerable. 
But we have the casket. It says someone going out of your life in the end of a situation. So per, there is an aspect here of, of karmic relationships that could be playing a role for someone or for their person in this scenario. So please take that as it resonates. But they are referencing, it's like waiting for somebody to walk away or waiting for the ability to walk away from a disempowering situation in order to go towards a connection with you. So the endings that bring new beginnings. But they're afraid to open up that Pandora's box without the support. With It's like without the knowledge that this is mutual, that you feel the same way and that you are on board. I feel like it almost changes the game. It changes the reality and the sting of that reality for them if they know that you're on board. So they wish that they knew how you're feeling. And they do feel like you have forgotten to tell them or you have suppressed that truth. We have compliments from an admirer. And there's the desire here for renewals and romance. for To actually have romance in our life. It's like there's a feeling with the Knight of Wands or Knight of Cups, I'm sorry, who just loves the idea of being in love. They just love the romantic aspect of the connection. They love feeling that mutual attraction with you. They wish that they would get more vocalizations from you about what you're expressing, even if it's just a deeper flirtation. We do have the turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. And we have younger woman. Dealing to relationship with a younger woman. Every time I see this card, I think of Princess Leia and I think of Star Wars, but I also think about sort of a taboo attraction. So please take that as it resonates. We do have take care because enemies are working against you with the bat. And we started with a bat with your hanged man. And every time I see a bat, I think of a flying rat. I think of a flying ego and how it's like, I want to rise above what holds me back. But this forces that are working against us could be practical forces. But at the end of the day, oops, it all trickles down to fear. Fear worries intense situations. You're on the right track regarding some aspect of your life. But it's like, even if I'm on the right track, their attraction to you could have felt very unexpected. And now they're worried about that reality, creating tense situations, fear. It almost feels like the truth would set them free. What do they wish would happen, please, with pile number one? I'm going to use the Entanglement Oracle, and I will link the discount code below for a discount on shipping on this deck that the author has offered to my subscribers. So what do they wish would happen with pile number one, please? Like, I can't decide. Am I worthy enough? I always think of Medusa here. Am I worthy enough? I can't decide. So I have a lot of decisions when it comes to you, potentially with the lovers. And this is not for everyone. Again, take it as it resonates. Um, potentially decisions between partners. So please take that. And that could be where the vulnerability comes in and why they are really hoping for a sign from you because they want to be with you. At the end of the day, they want to be with you. And it's not just a physical act either. It feels more, it feels more emotional, to be honest. We have, I'm sorry. I always think of the Knight of Cups when I think of the I'm sorry card for some reason. And you can see that these flowers are going brown and they're, they're starting to change color. So there's like a sense of like delays and it's like, I'm sorry I've delayed. There's an emphasis on the bouquet we have here. You always keep me guessing and that's what they want. They want clarity from you. How are you feeling? What have you suppressed about the situation? Perhaps because of a feeling of helplessness. I am struggling to be who you have built me up to be. And I do want to explore my dark side with you. Pile one. Back of the deck says, sometimes I don't feel anything. It's like, I'm, you can see it's like a shadow person. You can see right through them. But that's the thing. I feel like you can see right through them. You can see beyond their immediate appearances of things. The problem is, is that they may not be able to be tapped into their intuition as much as you are to be able to see right through you. Because for them, that's what they want. They want clarity from you in this moment. It says here, you are my safe space. It does feel like a little bit of an escapism as well. they wish would happen in this connection right this moment please we have surprised they want to be surprised with an offer they want to be surprised with clarity they want to know that you think as highly about them as they think about you and to get out of this maze even when you feel lost there's always a way through the labyrinth because they feel confused and again they feel like that piece of the puzzle gives them a bit of a flashlight 
to help them to overcome other challenges that could be in, in the place of this connection because they do feel drawn to you like a powerful magnet. And that could be why they do want to also explore a physical side with you as well. Again, it doesn't feel just physical. We have Cherish on the back of the deck because even though they want to explore that dark side with you, they still feel very emotionally connected to you as well. I feel like they just want to know if you feel that same way. Let's get a charm bowl for pile number one, please. What is the last thought this person had about pile number one? And what they wish would happen. Six of Pentacles seems to be a bit of a theme for you, Pile One. Um, I do think about the cause and effect of my actions with the Six of Pentacles, bringing myself into balance, karmic connections. We reap what we sow. And perhaps, again, the last thought that this person had was about my ability to commit to a launch, feeling a little bit like a victim in their situation, um, perhaps because they're stuck not knowing how you feel or stuck in a situation where they feel like they can't commit to you. They're also afraid of looking like a traitor, I just heard. They thought about that, looking like a traitor. Oops, stuck to my finger. Now, what's interesting is we have the hanger sitting right here in the middle of the wrench. It's like putting something up on a hanger, waiting for later. It's like a wrench in our plans. And that's going to take, that's going to put a huge wrench in the potential of the future here because they keep waiting for the perfect opportunity or the world to move into perfection. We do have Aquarius energy for divine masculine, marijuana. We also have here the seahorse. It's the black seahorse. I do think of family actually with the seahorse and endings with the black seahorse. We have the shamanic feather and the empress. We also have the key and we have the reality. The skull is a symbol of reality, transition and grief associated with the transition. Pile number one, that's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates with you. And if it does, please drop your comment below for a chance to win a reading with me. You can also check out my link for Etsy for a personal reading if you feel called to. Be sure to hit your notification bell if you do drop me a comment. And be sure to check your notifications because I'm waiting to hear back from my most recent winner. But I hope that you have a beautiful day and I hope you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage. Hello, pile number two. You are drawn to the purple flower. You're also drawn to the page of swords and this is your reading. What does the person on your mind wish would happen in your connection? Now, the page of swords here is all about gathering information. You can see that they're adjusting their glasses, so they could be even watching you in this moment here, or they could watch you in the environment that they know you. They might be watching you online. But the fact that they are adjusting their glasses always grabs my attention with this card because they perhaps want adjustments to be made in what they're viewing. They might want adjustments to your connection in some way that will empower the situation. I also feel like they are learning about you or they want to learn more about you too. They like what they see though up to this point. <laughs> so what do they wish would happen with pile number two, please? You could go to school with this person perhaps. There could be an educational energy connected to them or went to school with them in the past. We have the Five of Wands. We have the World. That's too many spirit. We'll try again. We have the lovers. Actually, this came out in pile number one in the exact same position. And this might be a common theme for the collective, actually. We have the eight of cups coming out with the hierophant. We have the temperance. Along with the Knight of Pentacles, he wanted to come reverse, but we're going to put him in the upright. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. I love this because, first of all, we have this Ace of Pentacles, which feels like a brand new opportunity or somebody who's seeking a brand new opportunity right now. And with the Vine, they definitely want to know more. They want to know more. I feel like they're almost afraid to let you know them. But it's like they want you to they want to know more about you. They want to gather more information. And they realize that that opens up the possibility of you wanting to know more about them. But they are they're starting with you. I feel like they're I'm getting this message about how there are some people that might not want to see the two of you together, actually. Um, 
But and I'm focusing here on this five of wands where they've got their fingers in their ears of saying like I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. This connection, this attraction brings us to a crossroads where we have to make really critical decisions. We have the four of wands. And I feel like this person is tired of holding back from you too. It's like, I feel like they're very much tired of holding back. What do they wish would happen here to these spirits? Because I feel they're showing Cupid's arrow here with the lovers. And I feel like Cupid's already hit this person. We have the Knight of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. A lot of Taurus and Gemini here as well. The lovers with the lovers. This person really wants to get to know you in a physical connection because they feel like that will that's a safe zone for them you know it, it feels like it's less emotional or it feels like it's less there's less consequences attached to it but the truth is that's a completely the opposite <laughs> The Queen of Swords. I can't deny that there's a very strong um, energy that is very similar to pile number one here. So there could be a message waiting for you in pile number one as well. Because in a perfect world, what they wish would happen is they want a physical relationship with you. They want, they're tired of holding back. But they also want you to feel like you're on the same page. They do feel in this case, they feel as though adjustments might be required for you. And it's kind of like they're afraid to tell you what they wish would happen because it's like they know that they might. It's almost like I'm getting a message about a divine feminine that might need to walk away from something or take a risk in order to go into a connection here. Um, and yet they can't offer you commitments at this time. So it's like I'm afraid to ask you about what I want out of the situation. I'm afraid to say this is what I truly want or what I really desire this connection because I can't offer you a promise. I can't offer you commitment at this time. I'm just not ready for that. But I still want you. It's like there's still this restlessness or this competition for you. And they want you in a physical way. But that's their vulnerability talking because they actually want to be in a relationship with you. But to move into a physical connection with you feels like a safer route to take. But I feel like you have a lot to, more to lose. It, I'm getting this message for someone watching and it may not resonate with everyone, but the queen of swords could be, you know, in a position of authority or hold a position in, in at home or in work. And this knight of cups doesn't have as much to lose to go into this opportunity. The adjustments that are going to be required might be for the divine feminine and not to the divine masculine, for instance. And so even though they want this, they know it's not a hundred percent fair to ask this of you because they're still saying, I, I can't commit at least not now but I just want this. <laughs> they do want a physical relationship with you. They're without the commitment necessarily though, because the physical connection to you is very strong. You could be the Gemini here and they like what they see and they want to know more. They want to gather up more information. But in order to do that, they feel like they are asking you to compromise something or asking you to really take on some type of leadership role in your own life. And again, potentially with the Eight of Cups, walking away from something not as fulfilling or they're asking you to perhaps go towards something that they feel like might be beneath you, like a connection that's just based on physicality because they're not ready for the commitment cycles and they feel like that's maybe beneath you because you are this leader. It's like you deserve the world here at the Seven of Wands. Back of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles. There's the Queen of Wands as well. There is a certain amount of unreadiness emotionally that this person presents when it comes to commitment cycles here with the Seven of, of Wands. I don't think that they aren't commitment material, but I feel like they're, they have some time that they want to explore before they move into commitment realms, but they definitely would love to explore with you. That's what they wish would happen. Again, Cupid's arrow has hit them and they are lit a flame here with all of that desire for you. It's like you are representing this serpent, this temptation of the serpent. Um, but I also feel like, again, your vulnerability might trump the amount of vulnerability they have to show in the situation. It's like, I just want to launch with you. That's what I wish would happen is I just want to launch with you with this, with this 
four of wands i don't care who is judging me i don't care what people are saying i'm going to stick my fingers in my ears and i'm not i'm going to ignore the drama but it may they may be able to ignore the drama because the drama may not exist for them <laughs> so they do feel like there's this unfinished cycle between the two of you that they really wish would correct and it does feel like a very physical sexual cycle and they find you very physically attractive there's also something very important about um your voice your leadership ability your position could be prior to, prioritized here like there could be again you could be very focused on home or career at this time and that could be what they feel like you would be walking away from in order to enter into this fiery, passionate energy with them. We have the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase, wanting to bring this to the next level, wanting to take the next step with you. But again, still not ready for commitment. Lightning, sudden changes, shocking news, surprise epiphany. And I often think of tower energy of like taking an action that we can't go back. We have wedding rings, taking an action together that if we take this action, we can never return. We can't go back to the way things were, um, could create irrevocable change or damage, maybe even the potential for commitment cycles. Now, again, they want to take their time in this exploration and discovering you and discovering, honestly, it's more about taking their time so that their vulnerability can be tempered so that they can start to feel more confident and comfortable moving into commitment cycles. That's actually what the delay is for, but they want to take their time exploring you in a perfect world. That's what would happen. Kisses, unconditionally loving, giving you and giving and receiving affection and falling in love. I'm going to use the entanglement Oracle for you today, and I'm going to Post the link below for the discount code for shipping that the creator of this deck has offered for my followers. So be sure to check that out if you're interested in this deck. What do they wish would happen, please, Spirit? I wish you would give me the benefit of the doubt. It's like, stop blocking me. Stop keeping me out. Maybe you keep ignoring their advances because you know that they're going to offer you something that's unsatisfying or they, you know that they're not able to commit to you at this moment. So they keep pestering you, but you keep saying no. I have a soul contract with someone else and I should have been more honest from the start. So if there is third party here that could resonate with you, that doesn't have to resonate with you, of course. Please take these messages as they do resonate and leave behind those that do not. It says, don't wait up for me. And time keeps on slipping. And that's the thing is that they want time. They want more opportunity. They want to seek out. They want to take their time. But time waits for them or time waits for no one. And time won't wait for them either. We have here, your smile brightens my whole day. And I do have plans for us, but we just have to wait a little bit longer because it's their heart, their vulnerable heart with the, the Knight of Cups here all over the place that is leading that it's under construction and it's their vulnerable heart that's actually necessary to move things forward into something more perhaps fulfilling for the divine feminine. What do they wish would happen please with tile number two? We have openness, wanting to be open to accept divine guidance in your relationship. I just saw commitment again because there's a feeling and emphasis on commitment cycles here. So take that as it resonates. We have honor. Honor your loved ones and you'll, re you'll notice your relationship becoming stronger. But we do have confusion coming over. And then we have moment too. It says, think of a special moment that brought you much joy with your partner. And all seekers of truth experience... Of truth, experience confusion. Ask the divine to provide the answers you seek. Because that's like they're looking for a moment with you. They're looking for a moment and opportunity to seek out more information. And this information that they want to seek feels very physical because they are actually feeling emotionally confused. And their hope, but I, honestly, I don't think it's emotional confusion. I think it's emotional vulnerability. And they feel like that will solve the issue or that will clear out that clutter for them. So they can just get into a physical connection with you that will solve all of this emotional confusion that they're feeling regarding this attraction to you. Let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number two. What was the last thought that this person had about pile number two in the bowl, please? About what they wish would happen. 
Wheel of Fortune. It's like, I just heard I want to get lucky. <laughs> it's like, I want to get lucky. Four of Wands and the Emperor. They don't want to cause arguments or conflicts within the home, but they realize a turn of events for them might cause that for other people. I do feel like they are kind of protective of themselves and that you have definitely triggered them in a lot of ways, but they're very protective of themselves. And they have up to this point taken a passive approach, but I feel like they are getting tired of holding back. A lot of Aries energy coming through in the bowl. Can't ignore this tower that's coming down here beneath the king of pentacles. We do have the phone off the hook. And how I feel about you makes my heart long to be free. More communication. We have A, P, and A. We also have here two Aquariuses, a uh, star of Aquarius. I always think about independence with the starfish. And then we have the black star, which is about an ending. So closing out a cycle. We have the queen of swords. I think of the ice pick as chipping away at a cold exterior. And we also have the high priestess coming in with the, with the crescent moon. And so they're speaking about listening to the notes of intuition or sitting upon information you know to be true about this person's feelings, pile two. All right, pile number two, that's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates with you. Drop your comment below for a chance to win a reading with me if you feel called to. You can also check out my link for Etsy for a personal reading as well. And I just hope that you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope that you have a beautiful day. Hello, pile number three. You are drawn to the pink flower and to the queen of, Pe oops, queen of pentacles, and this is your reading. What does the person on your mind wish would happen between the two of you? This beautiful queen of pentacles could be representing Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo placements. Um, it's just also highlighting beauty and grace and everything beautiful about the divine feminine, something very creative about you, something very capable about you. There's a highlight on the heart space with the pink flower that you were drawn to, and her hair is covered in pink flowers too. There's just something about this female that makes me think of Venus and makes me think of goddess energy. So if this is representing you, of course they're going to want something to happen here. Of course they're going to wish something upon this situation because you represent the ultimate. There's the Nine of Pentacles coming out already for you. With the King of Swords, they could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This person thinks about you often. And to say that they're kind of struck by your beauty or by your attractiveness is like an, an understatement, I feel. But it's not just about that. I feel like you've got talent. Like you have talents in different things. You could be musical. You could, you know, have just, you could be really smart. There's just something about the talents that you possess. Because now I'm hearing like she's got beauty. She's got grace. She's Miss United States. Like there's just so many things that you're good at. And I'm Canadian, so that's not, I don't, it's not that I watch those shows or that I watch those pageants. We have here the Ten of Pentacles. What do they wish would happen with you? We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Hierophant. I can't deny that there could be a workplace connection here. We have the Six of Pentacles reversed. And we have the Eight of Swords with the Six of Cups. And there's the Empress. Let me clarify this as we go forward here. What do they wish would happen between the two of you? The Wheel of Fortune. The Eight of Cups. The Eight of Wands. The Six of Pentacles upright. We also have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse position as well here. The Two of Swords. Spirit says that they... This person's guides really use you as inspiration to make changes in their life. We have the King of Swords now reversed with the Four of Pentacles in the reversed. 
Now, when I connect the Four of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles, that's the Ten of Pentacles reversed. We also have the Ten of Pentacles upright. Here is the Devil, and there is the Page of Cups. Now, there's also an emphasis on reunions here with the Six of Cups. So for someone watching, this could be in a separation, although that's not necessarily the overarching theme here. Um, this person, they want it all. And yet I feel like they're very weary or very cautious because they know what the complications are and the complications feel really big in this situation because I feel like in a wishful place, this person wishes that the two of you could be in a commitment cycle. Like they wish that they think that the two of you could build together, that you represent an upgrade to maybe what they've already built. Because I do sense that somebody in this connection, either you or this person might have built a family, built a connection, um, they just may not have the ability to commit. It's like they may be getting in their own way because they have this growing, growing attraction and yet they feel very unsupported or they feel very, perhaps they feel like it's not mutual and that's where the concern comes in. But I feel like there is an emphasis on divorce here that wasn't present in the first two piles. Like there's an emphasis on divorce specifically. And so that's why this person has not taken on a leadership role because the, perhaps a divorce has to happen or somebody has to walk away from a family unit in order for all of this progress to happen because what they want is an upgrade with you and they think that you're the person to give it to them or you're, I mean, there's something like you represent it all. There's no deficits in you to what they're perceiving and because they're so attracted to you, they can't stop thinking about how you represent an upgrade and how it's like they're one one pentacle shy of, of perfection or one pentacle shy of abundance in their own situation. And they feel this, you guys may actually, to be honest with you, be in similar boats or be in similar situations as far as your commitment cycles, because they feel like the two of you together again would create upgrades, but a death cycle might be necessary in order to usher that through. Because now they're highlighting the seven and the six together. And so it's like the pressure is rising to decide or to make a commitment or to make a choice and it's like I, I can't do that because I'm too concerned about what would have to happen so it feels like there's an addiction to this fantasy this addiction to this idea of upgrades with you and what they really wish would happen is that that upgrade would happen seamlessly so that they wouldn't have to be the ones to push it forward but there's a a misunderstanding in the collective about the wheel of fortune and how it operates for us because it's not just a happenstance nothing is it comes in because we have brought in energy that matches that frequency at some point it's a turn of events that we're pushing in our favor we get opportunity which is faded and then we use our free will to exercise our rights within those opportunities and that seems to be the issue at hand here because they feel like they could build it all with you and you, here's the Six of Cups that you represent the Empress. But now they're also emphasizing children. So for someone involved, for even for the Divine Feminine here, there could be children involved. And that's where the idea of stuckness comes in. But there's also, again, a misunderstanding with the Eight of Swords and how we feel stuck and how it's just a feeling. And our feelings can keep us, our fears can keep us stagnant because they're now they're showing me the elephant with the stake tied around its ankle and when the baby elephant was small that little wooden stake would keep it in place and it was too afraid to push back but now that it's big it could easily walk away from that stake but it it can't because of fear it's the fear that stops it so this person they want commitment cycles with you but commitment cycles would need to be adjusted here i also feel like there could be a work connection here as well where this was instigated or began could have been some type of other institution, again, with the hierophant that can represent education, government, marriage. I also include things like the gym, anything public, the bank, um, courthouses, things like that, you know, anything like that. But this person, they want you, but they don't know if they're ready to face what they have to do to get there. And they don't know if you're actually on board because they also know that things are very complicated for you at the same time and in the same breath. What do they wish would happen, please? But they have this passionate energy. Forces working against you. This came out in pile number one as well. The forces in this case, I do feel, are the tree of life, the ten of pentacles. Invisible forces, I heard. Wanting to get together with friends, but it's not friendship. You can see the dog is panting. 
I want things to be different. Things are not always going to be this way. A change is coming. And they are hungry for that. But it does require a huge transformation. And it's like they're, I just saw good fortune. They're waiting for a perfect moment to launch or a perfect moment to create. And they're hoping that that perfect moment includes them being able to be passive about all of the change. We have news flying on the way. Also have here, you'll be receiving a gift or a precious gift, the diamond. And that really represents commitments for me. But also about the pressure that we're under with the eight of wands, the pressure that we're under to forge that diamond, to be able to create that outcome. It's like I have to walk through the fire to get there. Dark man is on the back of this deck. What do they wish would happen, please, for pack number three? We have palm tree stability, security, growth, and flexibility within that security. So ultimately, it's like no man is an island, and yet this person feels very lonely on the island that they've created. So they're hoping for flexibility on the island that they have created. And yet they still want to secure that palm tree. Soulmate, soul connection, partnership, agreement, and soul contract. So they want this agreement between the two of you or an understanding between the two of you that you're both in the same boat and that you're both going to actively work to achieve clearance for growth. And yet they still intend on taking a passive approach. Like in a perfect world, they wouldn't have to. We do have heart with a key, welcoming the one opening your heart, getting together and perfection. And that's what they really feel like. They feel like your connection together is perfection. Your connection together is the upgrade that they've been waiting for here. They're really taking this logical approach towards the situation. We do have passion, insane chemistry, liking each other equally and having fun. And there is a feeling of like, maybe I'll settle for this passionate feeling. They aren't emphasizing this, the sexuality though. I mean, there is some coming through here at the devil energy, but they're emphasizing being together, building together. But they may be emphasizing that because of the emphasis on the practical being the obstacle here for you, Pile 3. I'm going to share some entanglement oracle messages for you. And I am sharing the link below for the discount code that the creator of this deck is offering my subscribers to relieve them of shipping. So that's really awesome. So check out that link below if you're interested in this deck. What do they wish would happen for pile number three, please? I have so much more I have to say to you. It's like my head goes around and around in a cassette. Because they have not forgotten about what you've shared together. I also saw this remembrance energy coming through. I really should have been more honest with you from the beginning. But we're skating on thin ice. The crack in that ice looks a lot like lightning for me too. So they're, they are emphasizing perhaps the tower energy coming through. You are my safe space. And you see two people behind that shield with the fire burning around them. I do have a soul contract with someone else. Back in the deck says, I know that I should move on. Eight of Cups does speak of that, of moving on from commitment cycles. That is, that's the action that will get everything in motion, but they don't know if they have the courage to be a leader in that regard in this moment either. Can you handle me? Because I'm a lot <laughs> on the back of that deck as well. What do they wish would happen for pile number three, please? Recognition, the divine sign, the divine will help you recognize signs and miracles. There's a feeling of them kind of protecting the world here in their arms. It's like wanting to bring this connection to the, to the outside realm or wanting to have it recognized. We also have an intense connection that includes great highs and great lows. Back of the deck says trust. You need to have trust in this, this relationship for it to flourish. And you can see that there's an emphasis on wedding rings, emphasis on timing and how perhaps time is not on our side in this moment because of karmic connections that are at play at this time. Let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number three. What was the last thought this person had about their desires in, the, in this connection and what they wish would... Oops, stepped away. 
finger, wish they would happen. The Queen of Cups reversed. Four of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Now there's a feeling of um, feeling emotionally overwhelmed or feeling insecure with the Queen of Cups in the reversal at this time because of a vulnerability within the home. Again, also motherhood being being prioritized so they were really thinking about concerns about secrecy and their secret feelings here they could could have been applying it to a partner um somebody who has motherhood attached to them perhaps or they could be a water sign a pisces cancer scorpio they were feeling vulnerable about how they truly felt in this connection because they realized that there are dishonesties or not there's a lot of yeah dishonest energy coming in about their true intentions in their current environment they're not being honest with themselves or other people. The devil, we have Capricorn energy here as well with the devil. We have I and Z. I think of sleeping with the Z energy, but the, it could also be an initial. We have the creative accountability and a clear canvas here and somebody who is afraid to express themselves in a profound way because they're showing me the, the high priestess. We have the shamanic feather and we have Aquarius for the divine feminine. And it feels like a crush energy where they're really looking towards you as to take on a leadership role. There's Leo energy here for the divine masculine. And there's a necessity for the divine masculine to claim their independence. And then we have the plume of grapes here going out and having fun. Pile number three. That's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates. I'm praying for you and your guides are walking with you as well. If you are interested in a free tarot reading be sure to drop your comment below for your chance to win a reading hit your notification bell so that i can notify you if you're chosen the winner you can also check out my link for etsy for a personal reading and i do update that shop daily so please check that link out and i just hope that you come back here and visit me at the tarot cottage and i hope you have a great day